Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Excel 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change a worksheet name and sheet tab colors. Let's get started. So I've finished up my worksheet here. It's for corporate sales quotas and I have three sheets down below. The sheet names are currently sheet 1, sheet 2, and sheet 3. These are the default names that Microsoft Excel gives your sheets, but you could actually change these up to make them more specific to the pages that you're looking at. So a couple things about naming pages is you do want them to be specific, but also to be unique unique. You cannot name two sheets the same thing, obviously. So uh, these sheets, sheet one contains a 10% increase for employee sales quotas. Sheet two contains a 15% increase and sheet three contains a 20% increase. Since these are all unique, I'm just going to name them after uh, those numbers. So I want to call sheet one 10% increase. The way that I do that is I right click on sheet one and I click right on the letters and I go right down here and I choose rename. And you'll see that it's currently highlighted, and once you see that something is highlighted in Microsoft Office, that means that if you start to type, it'll replace. So there's no need to hit delete or backspace, that's just going to be a waste of time. So we just start typing immediately, 10% increase. And so after we type in 10% increase, you'll see it change down here at the bottom. You do need to press enter to finalize it. So I press enter, and you'll see that now it says 10% increase. Okay. Next up, we're going to look at sheet two, and I'm going to rename that one to be 15% increase, but I'm going to show you a new way to rename it. To rename this sheet, instead of uh, you know, uh, right-clicking and going to rename, we're just going to double-click it. It'll highlight it, and now we can type in 15% increase. So that's a little bit faster, and we press enter to finalize it. Finally, to rename the third sheet, we're going to learn an even slightly faster way to do that. Rather than clicking on sheet 3 and then double-clicking, we're just going to go straight to the double-clicking process. Double-click, and it'll highlight and open that sheet, and we're going to call this one 20% increase, and press enter. And so now all three of our sheets have been renamed, and we can do that pretty quickly. Now, the next part of this video is going to be showing you how to adjust the uh, tab color of the sheet. And so I know that any sheet that is active has, uh, it is lighter in its shade, and it also has this green bar underneath it. And so I know that 10% is active right now. The text is also green, but you could also change the color in the background of this area. And I'm going to show you how to do that. We right click where it says 10% increase and we go right here to tab color. I'm going to choose one of the theme colors up at the top. These theme colors change based off of your Excel workbook's themes. These standard colors down here at the bottom will always uh, stay the same. So I'm going to choose this theme color in orange right here for 10% increase. Notice that it's a lighter shade of orange while the sheet is active, but if I go to the 15% increase sheet, it now looks darker. So that's how we change the background uh, color or the tab color for these worksheets. Next is the 15% increase. I'm going to right click that. I'm going to go to tab color and I'm going to choose this silver one right here, or I guess gray. And you'll see that it barely shows a change on here while it's active, but if I click away, you'll now see that it's darker. So an easy way to tell which sheet is active is the green bar underneath, but also it's a lighter shade. And then finally, 20% increase. I'm going to right click that, go to tab color, and I'll choose this yellow color or the gold accent for and you'll see that it changes it to very light, light shade of gold, but if you click away, again, it becomes darker. So that's how, an easy way to know which sheet is active at all times and how to rename your sheets as well as change the tab color of those sheets. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and have a great rest of your day.